Yo, where the wizard will, God will always make a way. It's not about the brain, but how you manage the brain. Lately, I've been thinking, how can a girl be that to get brain? Remember this team right here? Remember? Champions, Miami Heat. Nobody was paying attention to the Miami Heat until LeBron James. But look at this fucking dweeb right here. Anyway, the Miami Heat wanted to win the championships, NBA team. Everybody was on the bandwagon. I remember a kid I went to school with who I said, are you a Miami Heat fan? No, I'm a LeBron James fan. You're still on the bandwagon. I don't care what you say. LeBron James can be your favorite player, but when you start wearing Miami Heat memorabilia and stuff like that, you don't tell me you're not on the bandwagon, bro. Like, this is what I hate about sports. Women who never watch sports a day in their lives talking about, let's go Miami Heat. Why the fuck would you write that? Like, you piss me off by, by saying that because you know damn well you're not a Miami Heat fan. And then as soon as LeBron left, Went back to the Cavaliers. Oh, what happened? Oh, now you're now you're a Cavs fan? Oh, you've been a Cavs fan. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, now you're a LeBron fan. Which one is it? Make up your mind, all right? You're still part of the bandwagon. I hate these people. I hate bandwagon fans. Y'all need to cut it out. Seriously. <laughs> the Warriors, their bandwagon is so disrespectful. So disrespectful. People always compare LeBron to Steph Curry. You can't do that. LeBron's always been great throughout his whole career. Curry just started getting great, all right? He hit his peak, all right? And that's the one thing I can say. Now, second of all, you got a lot of fake fans, a lot of fake Golden State Warriors fans, all right? Listen, if you don't know who Monte Ellis is, you're not a fan, all right? If you don't know who plays from the 80s and 90s were, you're not a fan, all right? I'm tired of the Warriors bandwagon, real talk, all right? Oh, oh, you know the Splash Brothers. Of course you do, but you don't know nothing about the team, all right? Oh, people just started following the Warriors in 2012 when they started making past the second round. Oh, now you're a fan? Oh, people started following them when they noticed that Curry had great range and he was starting to take down all great players. Oh, now you're a fan? Oh, boy, where were you Where were you when he, when he hurt his ankle a couple of times? Where were you when his teammates said he didn't want to play with him? Where were you when he got drafted? No, you didn't notice him. Nobody noticed him. I'm not even going to lie. Oh, I didn't even notice him, all right? The only time I noticed this man is when I played 2K, all right? Other than that, you're not going to sit here and tell me you're a fan, all right? Like, I'm tired of the Warriors bandwagon. They're the, on top of that, they're the most disrespectful bandwagon I've ever seen. They're the, they're the type of bandwagon, like, yeah, Curry could beat LeBron in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. What crack you smoking, huh? What weed you smoking? Let me get some of that, huh? Y'all are some disrespectful people. I'm telling you this right, month, right now. Y'all, oh my God, that was a good crossover right there. But anyway, yo, the Warriors bandwagon is real, son. Y'all are some real fakers, okay? Cause when Curry, when Curry finally hurts himself and he's gone, the, the, those the, the crowd, they're not gonna be there. It's gonna be an empty stadium as soon as Curry retires. As soon as he hurt himself real good, oh, it's over. All that's over. Trust me, trust and believe me. So, so enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can. Enjoy, enjoy having Durant while you can. Enjoy having Klay Thompson while you can. Cause that shit gonna come apart at the seams real quick. That's my opinion. You don't like it? Eat a dick.